in this video we are going to solve a given problem in this particular question they have asked us to solve the given equations by matrix inverse method and Kramer's rule however I'm going to solve only by Kramer's rule you can solve it by matrix inverse method by yourself now in the solution first of all we need to write what is given so they have given a system of simultaneous equations in this particular questions there are three equations and three variables however in all the three equations whether it is in the first equation second equation or third equation we can see that there are only two variables instead of three in each equation we are going to check which variable is missing and we are going to add it to the equation with zero as its coefficient let us do now in the first equation we can see that the third variable is missing so we are going to add the third variable with zero as its coefficient now zero times the variable x3 is equal to zero so if you simplify it we will get the original equation so in this manner we do not alter the given equation in the second equation we can see that the variable x1 that is the first variable is missing so we are going to add it in this equation with 0 as its coefficient again 0 times the variable x1 is equal to 0 so if you simplify it does not alter the given equation next in the third equation we can see that the second variable is missing so we are going to add it with 0 as its coefficient after completion we can see that in all the three equations there are now three variables the purpose of doing this is to make it easy to arrange the given equations in matrix form now let us arrange the given system of equations in matrix form now this is the coefficient matrix what are the coefficients the coefficients are 8 minus 1 0 0 2 5 2 0 3 what are the variables the variables are x1 x2 and x3 what are the constant terms the constant terms are 16 5 and 7 now let us name the coefficient matrix by a the variable vector by x and the constant term vector by d in the next step we need to find the determinant of the coefficient matrix a next in order to find the variable x1 that is the first variable we need to replace the elements present in the first column of the coefficient matrix by the elements present in the constant term vector next in order to find the variable x2 we need to replace all the elements present in the second column of the coefficient matrix by the elements present in the constant term vector next in order to find the third value x3 we need to replace all the elements present in the third column of the coefficient matrix by the elements present in the constant term vector next we need to find the determinant of matrix a1 a2 and a3 let us first find the determinant of matrix a1 next we need to find the determinant of matrix a2 next we need to find the determinant of a3 after finding the determinant of matrix a1 a2 and a3 next in order to obtain the value of the first variable x1 we need to divide the determinant of matrix a1 by the determinant of the coefficient matrix a the determinant of a1 is 76 let us substitute 
the determinant of a is 38 next in order to obtain the value of the second variable x2 we need to divide the determinant of matrix a2 by the determinant of the Gaussian matrix the determinant of matrix a2 is 0 next in order to obtain the value of the third variable x3 we need to divide the determinant of matrix a3 by the determinant of the Gaussian matrix the determinant of matrix a3 is 38 let us cancel wherever possible so finally we have 2 divided by 1 is 2 0 divided by 38 is 0 1 divided by 1 is 1 finally we will write down therefore the value of x1 is 2 value of x2 is 0 and x3 is 1 if we substitute the value of x1 x2 and x3 in the given set of equations we will find that the left hand side will always be equal to the right hand side in this way a common solution of x1 x2 and x3 is found for each equation in the given set of equations you can proceed and solve the given set of equations by matrix inverse method after completion you will see that the value of x1 x2 and x3 obtained by matrix inverse method will be the same as those obtained by Kramer's rule.